what's up guys welcome back to my channel tips here and i'm back with another reaction video for you guys um well obviously good morning i'm having my morning coffee why don't you go ahead and get your grab yourself something to drink as well or eat if you want to not force you but yeah go grab one <laughs> um so as you guys know if you have you know been to my community i did post something and i posted there a picture of the list that i'm going through slowly that i'm slowly go going through right now and yeah and right now i'm going through the three of well two i've already seen one but i'm going through um Moonbule's solos so yeah i already did in my room and next I will be doing love and hate and then Sundo. Um I'm curious to see if it's going to be because it's the, the next one I'm watching is going to be love and hate. I'm curious if it's another like breakup song or not. I'm just kind of trying to base it off the title itself, which I should not. I should just watch it because I really do not know what to expect whenever it has something to do with Mama Moo. <laughs> yeah, so... <clears throat> um, anyhow, guys, I really thank you for, you know, just giving me some... Uh, giving me videos to watch. Um, I really enjoyed it. There was one comment saying... Um, I can't recall who wrote it, but then there was one comment saying, Thank you so much for uh, feeding us moose. Well, it's the other way around. It's me that has to thank you guys for giving me something to watch because, and for, you know, introducing Mama Moo to me because I really enjoyed them. Like, somehow, right now, in my own, you know, self, somehow I think. If I never found out about Mama Moo, what, what am I doing right now? <laughs> like, like, how long have I been sleeping through this group? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh, my brother, my brother is like, <clears throat> so you're a big fan of Mama Moo now? And I'm like, yeah, I'm a fan. I consider myself a fan even if I don't know much about them, but I really enjoy their music. I enjoy them as a group. I enjoy, I enjoy them as as um individual girls as well and then he said oh you have to watch the uh this show called um queendom 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 and i was like yeah i would love to watch that where do you think that i watch it and blah 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 and so i'm planning to go ahead and uh, i'm planning to go watch that during my free time as well um he told me that it's an amazing show and he also told me that um, they did collaborations with other groups there as well and he was stating something that there was a group there that he really liked and uh, yeah so I'm excited to watch that during my spare time and you know I probably won't I probably will not post it. I'm not sure yet, but I probably might not post it because of copyright issues, you know. It's a show, so. <laughs> um, okay, this is a long-ass intro now. Why don't we go ahead and start with Love and Hate. Are you guys excited? I'm excited. I'm, I'm, re I'm really, really excited. So, let's go and start. Oops. <clears throat> See, this is what I what, what I talk what what I say about Mobile. There are sometimes when she raps that it sounds like it's a spo spoken po poetry, 
again i don't know if you guys have already heard about that or have any idea about what that is but here in the philippines there's a lot of times when people do spoken poetry and they always have like music behind them like it could just be a guitar or a piano or something like that and that's exactly what it sounds like and i think it's amazing you know because when you when people do spoken poetry you you will know you will realize when it's not it doesn't come from their heart you know yeah so i think moonbyul does a good job in um communicating what what the lyrics should really feel which you know they're all good at i had to redo it <coughs> Also, that girl at the beginning behind Mundo kind of looks like Queen, which I doubt it's her. I don't think they have time to be backup dancers. <clears throat> okay, before I go on, because I feel like it's gonna start becoming real and amazing now, I just want to point out again that I god this girl she looks so good in his suit like ah oh. i have to relax because like deep down i'm like about to explode because of the fact that somebody could just look that sexy wearing that anyway let's go <laughs> And she's all covered up at that, okay? What's your number? I'm gonna call you. <laughs> Where are you at? Oh my 
gosh. Guys. What's up with that performance? Are you kidding me? That was amazing. I love that so much. I have no words for that. That was an amazing performance. Like, wow. Okay, 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 guys. I'm. A, it's probably because I'm a bit biased because she really just gets me. Uh, okay. Um. I I was reading the the subtitles and again. See, I told you guys. It sounds like a painful song. It doesn't sound like a breakup song actually. It sounds like the song sounds more like she's in a. I'm not sure if it is a relationship because the song could fall in either way. It could be either you're already in the relationship or you guys are like in the mutual understanding kind of stand which is actually not really that you know that that's a very confusing stand to be in. So if either one it could mean that there's this there's something going on between her and someone else and but however she's left wanting you know you, you know what that means you know when you're left wanting like it means like she's probably doing her part in the whatever relationship they're doing and the other person isn't really doing that much however that person is doing you know their doing something their part or wooing over her every time she's already about to you know like yeah you know what it's enough I, i'm done with this i think we should just part ways and stuff like that i think that's the part when that person starts you know coming back and um it's a sad it's a sad it's a sad relationship to be in why because you're just settling for less you know, to all the people out there, my, my man, my, my girls, please know that you deserve the best. Do not settle for less because you are worth more than that. You are priceless. So go get yourself a person that would treat you right. Yeah? Um, yeah, if you like this video, I like this video. I'm going to keep, I'm going to download this on Spotify because I really like the song. Um, go download it as well. <laughs> Support Mama Woo! Um, anyhow, please like, subscribe, click the bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Also, comment down below. What do you think about relationships where you just settle for less? Hmm? Hmm? No, 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 no. Okay, bye!